Good morning. We are still in Beverly, but we're in a different place. We've found a different car park, haven't we? Yeah, well, we, we went, to be fair, we got up early, we went to Tesco's. We saw about two or three decent spaces where we could fit the motorhome in on like an edge. And every one of them are gone. Not a chance. So, not a chance. It's just not with the aggro. And I think everyone in Beverly parks in there to go to the town centre, don't they? Yeah, so we parked here in, instead of School Lane Car Park, which and is just around the corner, isn't it? How much is it? For, well, it's 24 hours, £6.30, I think, something and like that. And it doesn't say anything about can't stay overnight in your camper. No, no, nothing about motorhomes, no mm. of sleeping, so we might stay here tonight. Might We're going to see too. how we go. There's a few spaces, isn't there, down this side, a bit longer. So yeah, you can you just, see those? You just get, they're a bit longer than the standard space, so I'm assuming for the campers and stuff. So We're just part there. We're just part on there, aren't we? Yeah. So. Oh, the Minster's playing its tune. We're going to go have a look at that today, Beverly Minster. We've got another bag full of cups we're going to send through the uh, impulse locker. Yeah, so if you bought cups off us in the last week, they're on the way to you. So last night we had Storm Debbie. Oh, God, she was a wild one, weren't she? I hope everyone's okay. We are, as you can see. Uh, got rocked around a bit um, down where we were parked near the marina, but we survived. I do I believe there's been um, quite a lot of destruction around the country, so I hope that's not one of you guys. So we have just noticed this, haven't we? And light vans, but you know when we talk about rules and regulations, we've got to stipulate weights and stuff. What's a light van? Yeah, because I've just said, what is a light van? <laughs> What, what what is it? Is it a, a little transit well, or put it, put it like this? I've been I've gone on my permit down there and I've gone on the app and I've put the reg in and it tells you it's a Fiat Decato and they've took me money. So oh well, there you go. They've agreed into the contract for us to park. The only other thing is camping, but we don't camp. Do we? We're not camping. We don't live in a tent. So yeah, it's, it seems a lot calmer today. It was so windy and horrible yesterday trying to get round Beverly. It was awful. I know it just turned rubbish. And then when we got back to the park up down the road which is about a mile and a half two mile away yeah um it, it was really windy really shaking but in actual fact i don't know if you've ever experienced this before but we both said at the same time didn't we but like a gust of wind and it was like disorientating wasn't it and i, I felt reckon, a bit sick you know like seasick well it, it almost felt like van spun around but it didn't but i reckon what happened <laughs> it didn't. is a gust of wind Reduce, this is probably people who understand physics and things, but the gust of wind, what blew, pulled all the air out of the motorhome and for a split second the air pressure went really low in the motorhome because of lack of air pressure made you feel dizzy. Because my ears popped as well at the same time, so it was definitely <laughs> So that's what that would have been, I reckon, that gust of wind. I, I, I just said, oh, I felt a bit off, off balance then, I felt just a bit really, sick. Because I thought, oh, it felt like motorhome moved. Yeah. And, and then we're all right again after that. And I reckon it was just right angled, perhaps because like the roof lights aren't sealed and the wind come across and it sucked all the air out of the van for just a split second. Anyway, we had visitors last night. When we went back, there was another motorhome there and a couple of vans. So it does get used for like a, an overnight yeah. stop. And we saw the gentleman come and lock the gate. Yeah. Not a problem. He come and just locked the gate and went, went walking off, knew that we were yeah. there because all our lights were on. And thankfully there are no trees down this morning. So no. that one what split down the middle. Flipping. That's a mess. That would have been, that would have broke last night, definitely, if I hadn't done yesterday morning. So. Right, so where did we go for this Beverly Minster? I don't know, where do we go for to get some food first? So we're just at the inn locker, this is how we send things to people. So all the mugs that people have bought, they're all getting put in little lockers now and they'll be with you very shortly. Yes. It's a good way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah, right. We love these lockers, like your Amazon ones and your imposts. Yeah, it's straightforward enough to... It's straightforward enough to do, isn't it? Helps us anyway when we're on the road all the time, but we still need to find this Beverly Minster. We still need to find some breakfast as well. That's a, a double one there, someone's bought two cups. Remember, you only pay for one lot of postage if you buy two, don't you? So, yeah. And you get two stickers, so. Right, well, Weatherspoons have missed out this morning because we saw this when we were walking past yesterday and I thought, what secret about it? It's called Secret Garden Cafe. Look at Mark here, look. <laughs> Dead easy to order. There's a menu on the back. Oh, there's a menu the on the back, yeah. Do all their breakfasts, £5.50. I'm not them. Then we've got extra toast with it. Extra toast. toast. Everything. So, this is going to be good, isn't it? Look how they've done it though, like. What, you said, what did you say? It's like being abroad. Yeah, when you walk into a when, in your restaurant when you're on holiday and you get all inclusive. All inclusive, inclusive yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, and it's a little doorway in the street, you miss it, wouldn't you, to be honest. So. Yeah, you need to watch out for this if you come to Beverly. Secret Garden. I'm gonna enjoy this. 
G-Code's got a sausage because I couldn't finish my breakfast. But look at this, this is what I mean about feeling like you're abroad. Mm. Secret garden. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? One for you to definitely find there. Obviously, if you struggle to walk, you might struggle with these steps. There's quite a lot of steps there. But we'll show you what it looks like from outside because you can easily pass it by. Look at this here, look. What? That's one. It's a real one. No, it's no hole in it, Mark. So it's in between WH Smith's and Brook Taverner. And it's just upstairs there. Yeah. Very recommended. Very good. Right, which way are we going now? This way. That way. We're going to Minster. We're going to find this Minster if it kills me. We keep seeing the tops of it, but we still can't find it. Just as we're walking towards the Minster, we've just looked up this street. It's called Register Square. Look at that for strange. It looks like a big Roman theatre, doesn't it? Like a yes. Roman building. It's old, though, isn't it, again? Register Square. Comments below if you know what that building's for, because it's got nothing on it like whatsoever. It's a big bank or something, but this has got something similar, isn't it? It's, no, this is a red brick. That looks it's, something. There's cobwebs everywhere. They all going on in the air. Cobwebs? They're all getting stuck in the air. Oh, my goodness. East Riding Yorkshire Council. That's an old building, isn't it, for a council? Mm, yeah. Red brick. A lot of red brick buildings, aren't there? There's a lot of different different style buildings here. That's what I like. Look how big it is. What is this? That's like a school or something, isn't it? What it used to be. But we've seen this down here. It says theatre on it and that looks really old as well. Oh there you go. East Riding Yorkshire Council. It's a council building. Mark, stop it! It's bad, you know, because you can see everything on the laptop through the window. There's a thing called uh, GDPR. Yeah, all the data <laughs> protection thing. You can look through that window, and then the laptops are facing the window. You can zoom in and see what. Well, it I says. don't think you're supposed to be peering <clears throat> through the window, are you? No, but someone who wants to steal someone's identity is not oh. ideal, is it? Carer support services again, with the big massive turrets at the front. There's the Minster. We can see the top of it. Can we get to it? Oh, look at that street down there. Where? This one here, look at how old it is. It's that old versus new again, look at that. Uh, can you imagine what it looks like when it snows and stuff? Oh, it looked really pretty, it looked like won't a, it? Like a Christmas card, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's all old, but this is new down there, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, it's a right mix of buildings here. It is, isn't it? I don't think it's very touristy, is it, either? I don't yeah, think yeah. a lot of people would come and visit Beverley, but I hope we're giving you something to think about coming here because it's really good. Is it, mate? It's yeah. Nice. If you're ever coming on the East Coast, you could stop here for the night and have a look round. I mean, look at this theatre. It's just sat there. It's absolutely beautiful. They're doing something with it, aren't they? There's something look else. At that. ERT. I've got to say, there aren't many councils that will employ gardeners this time of year to do just normal maintenance is just the essential isn't it this time no we've noticed that there's a lot of places going to rack and room because i think it's well budget cuts isn't it look here yeah, it looks like itn like news at 10. <laughs> news at 10 with trevor mcdonald <laughs> Right, we've found the Minster, we're on our way to it, but this street just leading down to it, it is gorgeous, old, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. So old. There's a few newish buildings, I think newish, but it's all cobbled. The street yeah. left it cobbled, haven't they? Still. Look at this. And look how imposing that is up there. Wow. It's just done 12 bongs, hasn't it? Because it's yep. 12 o'clock. Nearly dinner time. <laughs> you have just. <laughs> I'm not a no. I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. Is it dinner or lunch? It's dinner, but you've just had breakfast. Well, we're late, haven't it? That's the trouble. Yeah, well, it was, then you've had brunch then. <laughs> you've had them both <laughs> together. Oh, look at these little houses here. Tea cozy. Now, this minster took 200 years to build. 200 years. I know some builders that take a long time, but 200 years. <laughs> That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah, it is really. I mean, because the people who started it off were never around to see it finish, were they? That's, well, I'm handsome. Jet well, handsome, yeah. Because Can you imagine how many people have had their hand in this? If you lived to 60 or whatever way back then, you, you were probably lucky, weren't you? So. I wonder if these people that are built into it had something to do with it being made. You see all the people up there? Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, they look Oh, like. there's people all the way up it, Mark. There's people all yeah. over it. Look at that. Wow. 
Now, I do it. believe Sir John, was it Sir Saint John of Beverley, is buried under here. That's what I've heard. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, we're saying earlier on how they managed that if he built it, but he never finished it. Yeah, really, it's so. one, one, one fact saying that he started building it, St. John, and one saying that he's buried under here. Well, it can't be possible because it's 200 years difference, isn't there? Mm. Not only have we found the Abbey, we've been given permission to film in the Abbey as well. And it's huge, it's massive. Yeah, it's, massive. it's absolute, oh, the detail in here. Who'd have thought I'd ever get excited about churches, but honest to God, you it's appreciate church, it when it? you... Well, it's not a church, it's an abbey, but it's a place of worship, it's a isn't it? Oh, it's a minster. Minster. Look at that organ down there, Mark. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This place is huge. For, for, for a town which isn't, we don't think it's that big, it's a massive building, isn't it? You know. I thought things like this were in cities, but because it's a minster and not a cathedral, only cathedrals are in cities, aren't they? But we've got to say, we're looking earlier on on Google, isn't Beverly um, like the area capital? The capital of East Riding or, or East, East Yorkshire? East, East Riding of Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Put it in the comments below if you know. I've never known a town be the capital of somewhere. Oh well, yeah. we don't know everything. <laughs> you guys are gonna help, have to help us out. interactive information there and it started being built in 1188 my goodness look at this little bit here with the flags wow not much left of them is there little altar there so like I said this is Beverly Minster come and have a look you won't be disappointed Wow, well impressed in there, aren't massive we? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a massive shop as well, yeah. where I've just got. Mark wants some luck, he thinks this is going to do it. It's a Be Amazing Lucky Gonk. And of course, it's be themed for our van. Mm. I have got another one, but that's for my daughter, so I'm not going to show you that because it's a surprise. Right, where next? Uh, lunch. <sighs> <laughs> Mark's found the Chinese, but I think it's a restaurant and he's not happy. Look at these prices. You got Chinese, Mark? They do monkfish in black bean sauce. Monkfish? That's a bit posh, isn't it? Yeah. But we're looking at, I'm looking at prices here. How much the, is your chicken fried rice? Well, it's down here, it's out, out of sight, you see. <gasps> Nam pound? But it is a restaurant, so it's probably not bad, is it? But yeah, it's probably Nam not pound for rice? Yeah. See What's it I, called? Lee Garden. It's the only one that you've seen, isn't it? You want some brasso on that to clean brasso? it? Brasso? Looks like it. Yeah, it's all gone green, hasn't it? Whatever it is. Well, why don't you go and do that? You might get a free chicken fried rice. So we'll have to keep looking, won't we? Yeah. Might be another homemade Chinese at this rate, Mark. We were just saying, weren't we? That we we've seen a couple of Thai places, but there's no Chinese takeaways here in the town. I think they're on the outskirts again, aren't they? So. Yeah. So we found it. This is the Beverly Bar. You thought it were a pub, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> it's one of the gateways, the only remaining gateways into Beverly. And they used to have buses come through here, didn't they? Specially shaped, weren't they? Special like comb round at the top. Yeah. But it does look like they're still clipping it on the picture as you've seen. They're still clipping the top corner. You can see it above your head yeah. now where the stone's been taken out of. But it was built in 1409 uh, and it only cost £98 to build it to build and it's it. still here but yeah cars still come through and stuff single file don't they yeah on the traffic light system so. yeah so we found it i'm grateful to see that still got the gates on as well haven't it yep when there are people like you come they want to keep you out so what the other side there you go 
And that's what you'd see when you came to Beverly if you were allowed in, you'd have to go through there. So we've just found this old Victorian water pump. Does it work, Matt? It's wet there, but it's not wet inside, but it won't it won't pump, it's solid, it, isn't it? It was made in 1860. I don't think it's gonna work. No. Shame, isn't it? It's been restored, anyway. 1860. See, so. even in 1860s, it provided water pumps on the street I'll for you. What, look at the size, size of that spark. Can you imagine yours mm. going into your motor on soon, fill it up, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I, think it nice, I think it'd flood it. Yeah, it's nice, that. Yeah, what a good idea. Even in, even in the 1860s, they were thinking about giving you water. It's, well, hard, it's harder people, to find now, isn't it? People, they got it years ago to drink, weren't they? That's I think hard. it's for horses. Was it all for horses? Well, that's why they got it, because you wouldn't have running water, would you? Oh, I don't know. It was water free back then? So we're back in the van, absolutely shattered. What can I say about Beverly apart from it's lovely, it's great, it's clean, um, it's accessible, and there's loads of history. If you're worried about getting here and having no parking, please try the two places that we've tried. Mm -hmm. We're still here now. We could stop in here overnight, but I think we're going to move you're on today, aren't we? You're not supposed to, are you? But there's a lot of things you're no. not supposed to. But it's... the other one, the marina, you can stop there and it's very, very mm. safe. Here's Chico. <laughs> are you excited we're back? Yep. Are you excited for Mummy to be back? Mm. Come on in. We've got a thing, haven't we? A good look. Oh yeah, yeah you need to put your good luck thing up. Mm. We need some good luck. That's what we got earlier on, isn't it? Be amazing. What does it say on top? Uh, lucky gonks. Amazing, positive, honest, humble, and lucky. Get him put up on. Are you putting him where you're going to put him? I don't know. I'll have to find somewhere. I'll have to find. Out of put him up reach. there with your next bee. Out of Chico. That's my lucky bee as well. Out of Chico's reach because. Uh, yeah, he'll have there it. Go. There yeah, we go. We've got another one in there for Olivia, our daughter. Yeah. Because we've got to get it out of your way or else you'll be eating it, won't you? We, we did tell a lot of people uh, we've met recently, we were going to Scotland, but it's going to be put back a bit now because we've been busy, haven't we? We've been busy, yeah. It's just, and it's leading, we've got to be back somewhere on a certain day and we're not going to have enough time to go around Scotland where we want to be, is it? Yeah, yeah so we're going to go up the East Coast. Yeah, so um, put it in the comments below if there's anywhere you recommend we go. We did do it two years ago, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, quite a while Briefly. ago. So we're going to head up, up and up and up and we're going to go to Scotland after Christmas now, aren't we? So. I Sorry, Chico's battering me. Give his good. He's excited to see us. Yeah, it's going to be Scotland probably in January now, which is going to be the best of the weather. God help us. Good morning. Nice and early start. We've moved on. Um, our new location. We thought we'd have a good night's sleep, and we're woken up at 5:30 this morning to that ranking. So. Still in East Yorkshire, but we are in further up the coast, Bridlington on sea. And look, it is. Look. <laughs> there at you last. go. We come to the seaside, don't we? At last. Yeah, it can actually say it and get it right. Yeah. But yeah, it's a nice bright and um, but a bit breezy today. At least it's cold, not raining. Yeah. yeah. Chico's got a jumper and a body warmer on, aren't you today? It's cold. Eh? Yeah. Are you cold? cold? Get that tongue in. <laughs> and what we're we doing here anyway? Well, I've never, I've never been to Bridlington. I've heard so much about it. Obviously, it's going to be a lot quieter because it's in the winter months now. It's a seaside resort, so it's 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 well and truly busy in the summer, and not so well in the winter. But we'll have a look round anyway. Well, we're here anyway. Get some fish but and once chips, again, right? parking isn't great. We'll go into it in a bit more detail, won't we, in a bit? The parking's on street parking where we can park now this time of year. The, the spaces, you can, the cars can't even fit in them width wise. So yeah, we'll show you in a we'll bit. We'll have to pay for a car park. Yeah, we? we've had to. So anyway, let's go and have a look round. You're not having any rock, you're not having any hot dogs, you're not having any burgers. But I'm having batter sausages. No. Chico says yes, don't you Chico? Oh, don't start putting it on the dog. So what is it to do here anyway? Well, we'll have a look round and see what there is, because I've never been before. But uh, like I say, we're making our way up the east coast and this was the next stop, so let's go and find out what it's all about. And in true nutter fashion that, that, that we are, we've come down on the harbour. <laughs> it's like the harbour wall, isn't it? Sea wall, if you will. Well, yeah. you can't come to the seaside and not meet, uh, have a look around the harbour. It's, it is actually, it's quite nice looking, isn't it, in a harbourish way. Yeah. It's a, I think it's still a working harbour, actually. Yeah, it will be, won't it? Yeah. Look at these railings like Travis, do they are. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah, they don't look very uh, health and safety, especially when you're around. Well, there's plenty of meat left on them. God, but... they're years old, aren't they, though? Look out, look at the steps. Yeah, we're going it's down to the beach today. Ah, oh, look. What is it? A bird. Chico's seen it. 
It's just a bit smaller than Chico. Look at this one. Woo! That's a seagull. Well, that's like, I don't know what that is. Have you seen that? It's like a dipper thing what dips in. A dipper? Chico. Oh, Chico's. Oh, well sweet that. I'm just looking at you there, Mark. Do you want to look behind you in the sky? Oh, no, it's horrendous, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. That's not looking too clever, is it? That's turned unsettled, hasn't it, the weather, so... The sea looks a bit brown, <laughs> to say the least. Well, it is up here, isn't it? North Sea, that oh, this is the North Sea, which is a bay, isn't it? Yeah. So. Can we just step back a bit, Mark? Because Chico's right near the edge, and so are you. On, I don't Chico. know who I'm more worried about, to tell you the truth. Right, come on then, let's have a look up here. Well, it looks like it's the main amusements place up here, doesn't it? Like a kids' rides area. For any of you people that are watching this video in the summer, obviously because our videos stay on YouTube, it's, this is uh, November now, isn't it? Mid November, yeah. so it's, it's shut. It pretty much is shut. We knew it would be, but yeah, still struggle to park. I wouldn't like to try and park here in the summer not if, in the if you look back at any videos for bridlington it's completely different in the summer we won't be able to move down here and um, it gets absolutely rammed so we've just come here now because we knew we'd be able to get somewhere at least to park and what we have seen as well on the notice is even if you've got a blue badge if you've got a disability you've still got to pay yeah but one said the other day weren't they down in um beverly down in Beverly. Well, the one we're in now says you have to pay if you yeah. have a blue badge. And on the council's website, to say that the class you might be disabled, but it doesn't stop you from paying. That's the sort of wording as they use, isn't it? It's a bit so. harsh, isn't it? It's yeah. getting on to like Norfolk Council, that, isn't it? It's local borough it's councils, tight. and it's further down in Norfolk. You got half an hour extra if you were disabled, and some places are free. But, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we'll keep walking down here. Yeah, we don't really know where to go here, do we? We're just sort of walking around. I'm happy actually, I have to tell you why. Because all the little stalls are shut that sell donuts and mm -hmm. candy floss and all your junk that you like. So it's going to be a cheap do, I think, for me today. I hope not. Well, I don't think anyone will be needing that today. It's like a swimming pool. Looks a tad cold. So it looks like the rain, while they've got chance and everything's closed, they're starting to wash things down, some of the rads. I don't know if it's that jet wash that's spitting on me or if it's spitting with rain. We probably fetch the rain with us, we always do. the promenade and as I did guess it was going to be quiet um, so yeah it's uh, the arcades and everything are up here all the stalls are shut you can go on them um, get rid of your pennies if you want in the slots I have only got 50p oh well you better, better, better I bet keep we that. can't take Chico in the arcades can we I've got to show you this this is what I've got to put up with I've just been to the toilet and left in five minutes look at this What are you doing? We it's, ain't got time to be lying down. It's nice sat here, isn't All it? right, well, I'll leave you here. Take Chico with me. You freeze and you have a nap, all right. See you in a bit. Honest to God, men. So this area out here at sea is called Bridlington Bay, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and then the cliffs in the background is called Sewer Bay, apparently, so. Sewer Bay? Yeah, I mean, nothing special, it's just a few bits up there, but obviously we're not going to walk right up there because the weather's turning horrible, isn't no, it? No, we're really, really yeah. fighting against the weather here, aren't we now? We knew we would be doing, but it was sunny when we got up this morning, first thing, after we got uh, disturbed by our park up, what we oh. decided to park up outside the... I mean, there's loads of places, places you can park for, park for free overnight, but we stopped behind the bus depot, don't we? <laughs> like you do. Oh, five have started revving buses up, getting them warmed you you know, we need to start writing a book about where not to park your motor on because I think it'd be a bestseller. Mm. We think to find them all, don't we? Yeah, so anyway, so we had an early start today, didn't we? Yeah, an early, early night and all that. I think we should head back into town when ice rain's coming over, don't you? Yeah, let's go and see what there is in town. Now, I know that Bridlington's famous for its fish and its shellfish. Is it? Yeah, definitely. My, my dad used to come to Bridlington all the time and get his, like, prawns, his cockles, your mussels. And, I, and I've just found out it's the largest lobster port in Europe. Can you get scuttlefish from here? I don't even know what a scuttlefish is. 
you have to find me a picture of the skull fish because I've no idea what it is, Mark. And it's what a shame because I would I, I love seafood and so does Chico. He loves fish, don't he? Yeah, he likes white fish. White fish. Good it. for them. Very good. He what likes. about you? <laughs> yeah, you don't you only like it if it's rolled in batter, don't yeah, you? Yeah. So just come off the seafront and the first thing Mark spots is this lovely building behind us. But I can't believe what it is. It's actually a JD Weatherspoons. But we don't need to go in because we've had our dinner before we came out to the van, so we're all right. Breakfast, we still need our lunch. Oh. Well, it felt like dinner to me. It's that late in the day. But look at the building. Fancy. It stands out, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The Prior John, it's called, and it's just off the uh, seafront if you fancy Weatherspoons when you come to Bridlington. So we've just come into a shopping precinct. There's not many shops here, um, but we had to get out of that wind. And guess what? Dogs aren't allowed. So guess where Chico is? <laughs> There's not any leading brand shops, is the Aaron Foods and Poundland and Greg's. Stuff like that, so. But it's got us out of the wind for 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll carry on looking around. And we'll go up to Poundland now and have a look at Pep and Co for clothes. What are you trying on? Huh? What are you trying on? I want the three point ever fit me. Give over. It's only a medium though. You can't wear that. That's well embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Some of my clothes are right in here, I think. Look at your jeans and stuff. I mean, I'm not being funny, I've seen jeans more than that in charity shop. <laughs> more than that? Less than that, you mean? More money. They're all small sizes, aren't they? Yeah. All the larger people have beaten me too. <laughs> so that was a shopping centre. Little man's back out of the bag. Yeah. We've stealthed him in there, didn't we? Stealthed Ste him in there. Yeah, so he's st been stealthed in a Weatherspoons and stealthed in a shopping centre now. We've done like a full loop here, haven't we? I think so, yeah. It's not the biggest of towns we've ever been to, is it? No, it doesn't seem to be, does it? I know no. there's a Mr Chunk over there on that, I don't know. But, but look at that, blue scars now. This country's crackers, isn't it, for uh, weather. Look at this here, look. Fish and chips, Kaifi. Well, if there's not going to be a fish and chip shop here, it'd be a shame, Mark, because it's renowned for its... Um, fish and chip shops apparently there's more here than you can shake a stick at Cause I won't stop now Ooh baby I will pull my round the door Ooh Wow 11 95 for your fish and chips That's not bad, where were we the other day? Um, Bury St Edmunds, £13.50 Look at that look, I like how the, the terminology Sausage and chips, you can have a pork sausage either battered or kept plain. Can I have it kept plain, please, love? <laughs> can you imagine saying that? That's probably how they do talk in there, actually. <laughs> They're all scared of a tiny dog. Right, so we're going to wrap it up there for Bridlington. Uh, we've seen probably as much as we can see today. It was a flying visit. It was yeah. somewhere we wanted to stop and have a look after being told about it. We were never meant to have been a holiday, was it? We just stopping off here on the way up the coast we are going up we here are just go, we, we are just going up the east coast anyway slowly we're probably not putting a great light because no seaside resort looks great in the winter and we're a bit of bad weather behind it it looks even worse but no it's quite nice but it's lovely in the summer so do please come and have a visit there's plenty to look at plenty of fish and chip shops isn't there again no chinese just actually no we haven't seen one have we yeah. not one it's a traditional seaside fish and chip shop place isn't it that's where yeah so if you like seafood and fish and chips, you've won straight away anyway. Yeah, we're heading up the road, we've got to stop off at Scarborough. We're not going to film in Scarborough, are we? No, we're not. Because we've done it before, that yep. video's up there. But look at this, look at this in front of us now. Is that for good luck, is it? Look at that rainbow. Mm. That's stunning, isn't it? It going to get wet in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it probably means that the rain is on its way. So yeah, we're going to move further up to Scarborough, pick some up there that Mark's wanting, he's ordered, and then we are moving further up even more. Where you think it's going? Well, we'll probably end up going to Whitby. Whitby. Like stopping on a Whitby. Um, we'll try and get there before the weekend, so we're going to park up there. Because um, I do believe there's some free parking that I've earmarked. Yeah, we're going to have a day or two there, aren't we? Then we're going to move on yet again. Even we're further north. We'll see plenty more to come, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you're up north and you think we might be coming up near you, or there's somewhere decent to go and have a look at. Let us know. We may be heading to a town near you. If you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and we will catch you on the next one.